Hi, Rotary community. Today we are in the day one of Off MX, and we are with Arthur. He is part of Celesteva and Interactive Media Production and Conceptual Digital Studio. Arthur, how do you feel today? I feel good. You know, I was a bit nervous at the beginning of my talk, but now I think that I did well because of audience. So, uh, it's always nice to feel the support of the such huge amount of people. And uh, yeah, thank you. Arthur, tell us some amazing the way that you can use the creativity and obviously that kind of tools of that kind of aspect to obviously involve the people and as you can say in your talk, the, the feelings that you can transmit with that kind of things and obviously how the people is feel our feelings with they are seen by kind of experience, of immersing experience and that's massive events. Yeah. How do you feel at that moment when you was developing that kind of events or or um, how do you always believe it? Yeah, you know, during the process I feel a lot of different emotions because usually processes are quite long. For example, okay. uh, the last project that I talked about, opening ceremony for the Asian Cup, we created it for one year. So for sure during this year I experienced a lot of different emotions. Uh, at the very beginning I was very inspired when I came up with an idea with the stage design. Uh, then after I was a bit stressed because uh, uh, the creativity faced with some of the technical limitations yeah, and uh, it's always hard to, you know, it's always hard to find a compromise between creative uh, things and these technical limitations, but we, you know, figured everything out, uh, yes, and uh, during the uh, other process, uh, for sure, the team was a bit exhausted because hard work. And uh, yeah, and actually, when the show was done, when we saw it in the stadium, life in life, uh, one emotion was for sure was ex excitement because it's a huge project that we made for one year, and now a lot of people saw it in life. But uh, from the other side, we felt a bit empty because uh, okay. the huge part of your life uh, during the past year is gone now and you just sometimes you just don't understand what to do tomorrow because you used to work on that project now and nowadays that was so important to have that connection with the people right yeah and um, Arthur how do you think that the art and the creativity can influence or transfer the society and could you share an example of your work? Yeah, uh, you know, I think that art uh, and creativity works with every person. Okay. Uh, because uh, usually doesn't matter if it's a big show or it's just, or it's a painting in the museum. First, the first thing uh, with what it works is it is the soul and it is the emotion, feelings. Uh, because when you see something, you start to feel something immediately. Even if you see the black square of Malevich, for example, you know. Yes, for us. So the connection between the people and between between the audience and viewers and between the creativity is very short and direct. Yeah, and that's important aspect that you have to consider at the moment that you are putting that kind of um, exp spectacular, right? Yes. And Arthur, I want to ask you uh, that you can tell us to our Raspberry community an advice for the emergency creativity that want to obviously to boost and improve their careers in this world, artistic and creativity. Uh, could you repeat the question? Uh, uh, some advice is how they can uh, how, how the people improve their want, uh, want to improve their careers in this uh, yeah. creativity world. Uh, you know, I think that the first, the main thing to improve your creative part and to improve your work is to love your work. I think if you yeah. if you do something that you really like, you will improve it day by day. It's you know, no other way. But if you if you don't love it, if you don't like it, if you do something that uh, make you nervous or stressful. Uh, you know, or annoying you. 
you can you uh, it couldn't lead to some improvement or some development in the future unfortunately Arthur thank you so much for this thank interview you. it's a pleasure for us and an honor to have this amazing conversation and for our community and well it's a pleasure for me too for me too Broadway community, we was with Arthur, he is part of Silla Estiva, an interactive media and design studio.